about your goldfish? Yeah. She legit just had a huge meltdown all because her goldfish fell out. She's really tired. And I gotta take that to Goodwill. But um, she just had the biggest meltdown because her goldfish fell. And then she got so happy when I stopped. Well, I had to pull the cart over to give them back to her. But anyways, we are... Um, it's windy outside today, but it feels really good. We are on our way to get Ari. We gotta go get her and take her to her doctor appointment. And we'll get something to eat. Um, I swear, it feels like everything is so time consuming. Like, I've been working today. I've been working on, excuse me, organizing just little, like, junk, basically. Not junk, but stuff that I need. But it's like little things that just get out of place. And then before you know it, you have just junk, like clutter on counters, and it just, it's dropping me insane. So, looks like it's about to start raining, but yep, but um, I've been work, I work on that, and putting away clothes. Gosh, between me and Joseph, we have, I mean really all of us, Joseph, me, and the girls have a ton of clothes, and I don't wear half of my clothes, I don't wear half of my clothes, so I need to go through and really just get rid of some, and I plan on losing weight um, too, so I'm gonna have to get rid of hopefully have to get rid of a lot of my clothes um, but it's just like gosh it just feels so frustrating when you feel like you're you know spending time organizing and cleaning and you can't really tell a difference but I can tell a difference you know because I know what I organize and what I put away and what I threw away and everything but I feel like it's just I feel like it's never it's never ending with our house because I think one reason is I need to stop going to stores because I end up getting talked into buying crap for the girls and just I need to just not even go into the store if I do I need to only allow myself to get what I came for and nothing else because I always you know if I go I'll see things I don't go often but when I do you know I end up getting even a few things here and there just adds up over time I'm like how did I acquire all this crap like over the years it's ridiculous but anyways that's enough about that um, today, like I said, we're going to get Ari. We're going to do her doctor appointment. She's got to get three shots today. <clears throat> so she's got to get that in order to be able to go to seventh grade, into seventh grade next year. So, of course, she's not happy about that. She is not looking forward to the shots. Um, which I don't think anyone, no matter how old you get, I don't think anyone looks forward to it, really. But it's got to be done, so we're going to do that. And then, depending on how long that takes, we might go see my mom. Let's see, um, uh, yesterday I had a good day. I've had a lot on my mind lately and I've just really been feeling like basically attack, like an attack from the enemy, just with trying to steal my joy and trying to, you know, put confusion or, and then you just, you know, different, just in different ways of trying to steal your joy. And, you know, he knows how to tempt you. And I had like a little breakthrough yesterday and I was listening to a sermon. I was listening to Joyce Meyer's sermon. Um, it's Seven Secrets. The name of it was Seven Secrets of a Confident Woman. And I was listening to that, and it was really good. And in the middle of the sermon, she it was the part where she was saying, you know, basically step out of your the boat of thinking like my circumstances define, you know, um, God's love for me. Because she said, no matter what your circumstance you know, is, no matter what your situation is, no matter what it looks like, that has nothing to do with how much God loves you, or, you know, he might be working in you and through you for someone else that has nothing to do with your life, that he might be, you know, if you agree to let God work through you, you know, through your heart, and, and have, like, you know, your life, use it as a purpose for him, I mean, you, you don't, you're not going to understand, because, you know, we're not God, so we're not supposed to understand everything. And so I just have to, you know, have peace in that. And anyways, I was really struggling lately with just being confused about a lot of things. And I had, when she was saying that, she was saying, I want you to just, you know, say, if you have to say it multiple times a day, say, God loves me. God loves me. And believe it. And it's crazy because when I said that out loud, just listening to the sermon, it's like I got, I felt the Holy Spirit and I haven't felt him in a while. And <clears throat> I got chills. And right after it, that came out of my mouth. I literally, like tears just started coming, and I really, I just started crying, because I just felt the Holy Spirit, I felt God, you know, basically like wrap his arms around me and say, you know, remind me, like I'm still here with you, I haven't gone anywhere, you know, and we're going to get through this, <coughs> so anyways, after that, 
I felt much better after that. And, um, and then last night I had a really bad nightmare. And so I was like, it's just interesting. Like trying to put, it's like the enemy was trying to put fear in me in my dream. And I woke up like with my heart beating really fast and just, you know, I don't even want to vocalize it because I don't even want to give power to it. Um, don't even want to put it out there in the atmosphere. But it was, you know, really bad, really, really, really bad nightmare. <clears throat> so I'm like, that's, you know, ironic. Right when I had breakthrough yesterday, you know, that the enemy tries to get to me in my sleep. It's like, he can't get to me while I'm awake. He's going to try me in my sleep. But he keeps trying because when you, you know, when you know that you know that you know that you know and that God is real and you know you've seen and experienced his power, <clears throat> you know nothing can, nothing can come in, in the way of that. So anyways, we are about to get Ari and I just wanted to share that with y'all but I hope you're having a good day and poor Nora is so tired she hasn't had a nap yet today but um I hope y'all have a good day and I will talk to y'all later but if you're going through something just keep your head up and keep praying and just like cry out from your heart from the bottom from the depths of your heart like cry out to God and ask for his help and you know it's on his time not yours you might not understand you know what's going on and that's okay you don't have to you just have to trust him and eventually you're going to have a breakthrough and that situation is going to change. And I just got so much peace after that, like just peace, even though I don't understand, you know, and I still don't know what to make of it. I have peace about it that, you know, I'm just going to do my best and take it one day at a time. That's all I can do. And, you know, just try to have faith that, you know, God has it worked out. So anyways, how are you doing here? But I'll talk to you later. Baby, this way. You're your fair bear? She's barking. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, one, two, three. 